well, again, let's talk about sisterhood. Yes. Why is it so important mm -hmm. to have a best friend? They love you whether your house is a mess, they love you yeah. whether your hair is, I mean, no matter what, this is yeah. that unconditional love. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's important, mm -hmm. especially being a black woman. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we have this, this tendency to get catty, like, oh, you know, or your locks are longer, or you're lighter, or you're darker, and this is nonsense. Mm -hmm. I think that we as sisters, we need to stick together, find that cohesiveness, and on top of having a best friend, definitely have a support group, because you don't want to wear that sister down. Mm -hmm. Every time right. she see your phone, your number is like, oh right. boy. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You know, right. you want to make right. sure that right. you right. spread when the When I love. think of my best <laughs> friends, I have a couple of best friends, I think of them, uh, when I was 12 years old, mm. and I started my period. Oh, girl, I started my period. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know I know. It was, like, girl, you late. It was so, <laughs> yeah, you know, then when you become a teenager or a young adult, oh, girl, my period came on. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. So I guess people who are going through menopause, I'm not going through that. I guess they have sister friends. Girl, my period came on again. When will it end? Yeah, you yeah. know? Well, just, just to interrupt you, <laughs> this is my best friend right here. <laughs> and I forgot to mention that. Sorry. Go ahead. Thank you. So and we've been through I, we've thick been and through thin. Thick and thin. Thick and, thin. and, and uh, you know, yeah. I think that your your best friends are yeah. like your sister friends, are mm -hmm. like your guru. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, because what is a guru supposed to do? A guru is supposed to help you to grow. Mm -hmm. And I think that your best friend can sometimes help you grow in ways that you never thought possible. Absolutely. In ways that even the closest people in your life, your family that love you, can help you to grow. Even from the mundane things, like it was my good friend, Sister Sean, who uh -oh. taught me. See that? It's she didn't realize she taught me okay. this. But um, sister friends, you know, like Sean, uh, my best friend, she taught me how that it was okay to be tall. Because I used to think I used to think oh. I was too tall. I was always like one of the tallest in my class. Aren't you lucky? Yeah. And I know, and that's something I've never said. To, no one ever knows about me. Right. Wow. I used to, I was always one of the tallest people in my class, mm -hmm. and I always felt subconscious about myself because there were other more petite, smaller right. girls. Right. And I well, thought that's who the boys were. Well, liked. I want to ask you. I want to ask you all this. Um, when a man comes into the picture, does the relationship change? You know, that's, I'm glad you asked that mm -mm. because I'm married. And what I found is that a lot of my girlfriends, one had actually mentioned this to me recently, that she thought that the relationship would change mm -hmm. once I got married. Oh, and yeah. I think that Monifa can testify mm -hmm. to the fact that I think, you know, I understand that, you know, the husband's supposed to be a best friend and all this, but there is a void, there is room there for both, and there is a space that your husband cannot fill. Absolutely. That's right. That your sister friends. That's what they're there for. And it's okay because guess what? You've been there before, man. You'll be there after, man. But I've heard stories of um, people said, well, her boyfriend took her away from me. I went through that. No. This gentleman, he said, well, you always, your girlfriends call you night and day, or you call your girlfriends mm -hmm. night and day. You're always emailing them, mm -hmm. you're always text messaging mm -hmm. them. And I had to tell him, dear heart, I love you dearly. But just like you said, mm. she was there when I was seven years old before I even knew you existed. Right. And she's going to be there even after you exist. <laughs> and I think that men, if they really love you and embrace the relationship, they'll understand and embrace that friendship you have with that sister. I, just, I want to move yeah. on because we, we're sure. running out of time. I want to move on to your book. Yes. yes. Yo, let it okay, your yeah. book, The Bit Aerobic Fitness Flow. How did you come up with that idea? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you want the long, I'll give okay. you the short, short version. Yeah, I get the short, short version. version. We I know what it's her. like as mm -hmm. sisters to be in a valley where my personal, my professional life, everything was converging on me and mm -hmm. it wasn't good. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I went into like a, I guess a semi-depression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I say semi because that word is very serious and I don't use it lightly. Mm -hmm. um, so one morning I wake up. It's uh, early. Mm -hmm. Anybody who knows me knows I'm not an early riser. But I woke up early one morning, mm -hmm. cut on the TV, and there's this uh, Asian yoga instructor doing her thing, you know, her yoga. Uh -huh. and, and, you know, I looked at this woman and I said, you know, there's a piece to her that I want. Mm. I know that I deserve that too. Right. So I started doing the yoga. Right. So fast forward, uh, start doing it after a few months. I got too lazy. I didn't feel like getting out of bed, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's mm -hmm. the reality. Mm -hmm. So I started doing the exercises in my bed. 
Wow. I did. I did. I started doing them. And after a few months, uh, people began to notice, uh, my colleagues, my friends. You know, you remember, Sean. Like, what yes. are you doing? Okay, yes. So what you're watching here is the <laughs> bikini flap. See how the leg is flapping up? Okay. Now, the cute. interesting thing about the bed aerobic <laughs> fitness flow is that it's very deceptive because it looks simple, but in actuality, that it's not. exercise no, it's not. will bust your hips it's in not. a good way. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So if you're trying to get... And the long and short is, after Lady and I spoke, we had this kinetic energy, like we were friends since birth. Mm. I mean, I told her things that I haven't even told some of my mm. sister girls. <laughs> and we just developed this love relationship that I am just truly blessed and excited to have. And every day it's something new. Every okay. day is a new adventure between yeah. us. We talk about everything. Like I said, from apples to zoology, we talk about everything. And I just, I just love her. I, I truly love her. Okay. And that's her right over there. That's a blessing. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Everybody knows that I'm such a effing lady. Independent queen and I'm stuck up in my ways. All I know is what I want and what I want is you. It's not what I want but what I need. Do the two step, two step, do the two step, two step. Ever since the day when I stepped up on the scene, I mean just what I say and I say just what I mean. All I know is what I want and what I want is you. It's not what I want but what I need. So do the two step, two step, do the two step. Nikki is, you could say, my little sister. Well, this clip is a, actually it's a composition of all of my, well, not all of my work, but several of the different films that I've worked on in terms of directing and producing. Manager over at, at the electric company got me on speed dial. Oh. No, he ain't cute. Mm -mm. Talking about I owe him some money just because I won't give him no play. Mm -hmm. I told him he was going to have to wait. Yeah. What? I told him I had to pay bills or pay to live. I choose to pay to live. Oh, I get it. You're a reporter? You here to cover a story? Why am I here? Well, that's what we want to know. Go into an awful lot of trouble to cover a story. Well, I thought that... <laughs> what did you uncover so far? Wait, you mean who I think killed that man? Look, for all I know, it could be anybody. What do you got? Look, I'm not a suspect, am I? <laughs> <laughs> no. You're FBI. <laughs> Um, when I think of sister friends, I think of my friend Carla Jackson. I also think of Nikki. But Carla Jackson and I, when I, she was tw I was 12, she was 13, we all took a trip. We rode our bikes all the way to someplace in Merlin, way in Merlin, Laura Merlin. And um, we got into big, big trouble. Both our parents <laughs> got into big trouble. And um, we had to leave the bikes in Merlin. They took us home to D.C. And then we had to ride the bikes back on the highway, these backseat <laughs> roads and mm -hmm. so forth. I think of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think of Good sometimes memories. sneaking out the house, you yeah. know, <laughs> telling Ooh. your friend, telling Good your times. mom, Good telling time, your yeah. mom, your, your dad, <laughs> I'm going over Carla house, and actually you're going somewhere else. How about this to a one? party. How about this what one? Is she Getting say? on the phone with a boy. Yeah. Right, right? <laughs> and disguising your voice. And having uh, your friend listen. And yes, that was right, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. I mean, and then I have, along with Monifa, I have, I have a, a, a plethora of really good sister girlfriends. Yes, I, I have. Too, I mean, yeah. I love, I love. I women. have my friend yeah. Pam, Pam Johnson. And She's in Atlanta now. Well, let She's me give a call. shout out. My friend well, Debbie, Debbie. <laughs> right? Tomorrow, Pam. my girl in Hempstead. Yeah. It was me. Pam, go, I'm just. Oh, oh, going out. Out. Me, shout out. Me, me. It was me, Avis, and Carl. The three of us. We were nine years old. After school, we would go around the corner and we'd get a bag of potato chips. It's split. It's split. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, 13 I'm for me. Well, since we give a shout out to um, Tanya Martin, we met when we were six years old. 
I'm not gonna tell you how well that turned off as fourth, mm -hmm. but we met when we were six years old, and I remember she had Tinkerbell perfume, and I wanted to use the Tinkerbell perfume, and she wouldn't give it to me. So I took it from her and squirted some on, and I went to throw it back so she wouldn't notice, and it broke. Oh. And we were devastated. We we're looking at this Tinkerbell perfume, and she said, that was so mean, but will you be my friend? And we have not okay. looked back since. <laughs>